you know, I was locked up. You know, I did six years in jail. So imagine 23 years and 23 and one Damn. in a cell smaller than this. Yeah, that's crazy. Reading real estate books. See, I'm surprised they let you do that. Man, listen, sm cell smaller than this, reading real estate books. I already knew my mentality was going to grow from there. Like, I already knew, listen, I'm going to be a millionaire because nobody's in here doing it. They bullshit, lifting weights, push, doing all that. I'm worrying about what they girl doing. I'm worrying about when I get out here, how to formulate a plan. You know, how are we going to open up a jewelry store? How are we going to get these buildings? I'm thinking about all that type I'm of thinking about that in jail. In jail, bro. Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy, Mr. J. Hill, and welcome to another episode of the J. Hill Podcast. But right now, I want to give a special thank you and shout out to our sponsor, that's Top Dog Law. So look, man, if you're suffering from medical malpractice, a slip and fall, especially a car accident, make sure you call my guy Top Dog Law. That's Top Dog Law on Instagram and topdoglaw.com. Look, if you check out his Instagram, you'll see he uploading big checks. I mean, like, every day. I ain't talking about the little ones. The big ones. So shout out to my guy, Top Dog Law, topdoglaw.com. Get that money. I know I'm trying to get it. In here, work out here. Yeah, yeah. What up, dog? How you feeling, what's up, brother? What's up? Yes, what's sir. You? My guy. What's up, Philly in this mug. What are you from? Yeah. North Philly? From North Philly. Yes, sir. Yeah, North Philly. The city is in the building. You know, yeah, we like cousins. What yeah, up, bro? Yeah, for sure. Baltimore, we right there. Yeah, you know the vibes, man. Mm -hmm. What's going on, man? I'm chilling, man. I'm just, you know, doing a podcast run. Just, uh, you know, just get my together for real for real what's up with you man i'm good but hold up hold up why are you doing a podcast bro i feel like i used to my interview an entrepreneur got a, a class coming or a workshop coming <laughs> like why you why you doing a, the podcast bro? Nah, i mean basically i want to get my you know my story out there to other people that didn't, didn't see me so you know but you do content though no my content be booming but you know i gotta do something i didn't do before i, I don't even really do podcasts like that okay so this is my first time actually doing like doing podcasts. yeah i'm feeling the vibe though like yeah. but you you been strictly doing what you do out of Philly. Strictly out of out of Philly. But I'm Philly, Jersey, and Atlanta. That's where I buy houses at. Okay. But hold up. But you you based in Philly though. I'm based in Philly, yeah. So this is different though. Usually yeah. I had a conversation, everybody talking about um it's all about uh proximity. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. you gotta be around money and understanding it so you can start just to keep keep having that mindset yeah. and bringing in money. But you in Philly. And when, you don't have a lot of people doing what you do in Philly. No, it's not a lot of people, but it's it's, it's some people. I've been doing this for like 20 years, though. Like, I'm close to 20 years now. Okay. So I ain't, I ain't I, I've been doing this for a little while. I'm feeling this yeah. vibe right yeah, now. Yeah, for sure. But you, what, you, but I mean, well, I don't want to say that don't count, but you you got your first crib like 15 or something. I was 17. 17. Yeah, I was 17. See, yeah. I know a little something. He like, yeah, bro. Yeah, I see you. I see you. I see you. I see you studying. I'm working, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. So, all right. So, hold up. Before we get to the story, I'm, right. just, I'm just I'm just, curious. So, but you still been doing it f f in Philly, and I still think that's big because, like, usually, like, when you the big dog in your city, yeah. it's hard to find inspiration or, like, it can get boring because it's like, you don't have nobody that you take. To really look at. Uh, I mean, it do get a little bit boring, but that's why, I like, like I find, like, get my energy from young people. Mm. Like that, that gets me hip. That's why I'm, you know, wearing a Louis yeah. and all this shit right now. I'm like, oh, shit, throw this shit on real quick. <laughs> so I mainly get it from them. I like seeing them going through, like, going through what I just went through. So whereas though they get their first hundred thousand dollar check, mm. you know, I, I like doing stuff like that. Yo, so hold up, bro. You came in it before this whole Instagram yeah, era. This shit was. What you seeing that's like, what's, so, compare the old to the new for me. All right, so I would say now it's watered down. Like, it's like boring because everybody, you see everybody, I buy houses, we do this, we do that. But they really don't be doing it. It's really just like a play just to get some money from the Instagram. Like, back then, nobody was buying houses like that. So, like, I was the only person that was doing it. Like, I was 17 years old, um, fresh out of high school for real, for real, buying a house, you know, just because I was in the streets. Mm -hmm. So, I'm like, you know what, I don't want to hustle no more. So, let me, you know, let me jump in this game. And, um... So wait, so I still want to have this conversation about yeah. the old and the new. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. You got an e-book? Yeah, I got some e-books. So even that, though, I feel like that's a newer. Yeah, that's different. Like, I, honestly, yeah. be real with you. Are you feeling that or is you doing it because like that's what the, that's the trends now? You I mean, to, to be honest, so I wrote my e-book like a regular book. Like I was writing it like I was in jail writing a book. So and Was you forced to write this? No, I wasn't forced to write my first e-book, but the, the next one's because like they followed. And I had to give them more, you know, information. So oh. I was like, I ain't really like it, to be honest. Okay. I ain't like the, the last ones, but 
I gotta give y'all the information. Yeah. So that's you know that's what type of state we in. I, yeah, that's what I was wondering. Yeah. Like, cause like and sometimes you gotta change with the environment. Like we see Jay Z, right? I feel like that was the best example. Somebody yeah. who grew with the times. He you wasn't gotcha. trying to stick to old. He was growing with the times. And I feel like the ebooks and just the digital products is smart. Yeah, I feel smart, like yeah. that's growing with the times. When like when you've been in this so long, I would think that you probably don't even want to do that. It's like, I, I feel like like if you like take Jay Z or take Diddy. Like them, Perfect like examples. they basically just transferred with the times. Yeah. Like a lot of people, a lot of people like the older guys from my block, right? I can still drive through there and still see them hanging on the corner. Yeah. Me personally, I would never be on the corner right now. Like, so they, they kept that same mindset of staying out there. Me personally, I'm like leveling up. Facts. So like, that's where you want to kind of be at. Like, that's the only, that's how you're going to get somewhere in life. But, but even after the streets though, I'm saying like just with real estate, No, yeah, right? well, yeah, with real estate, but I, I'm taking that same mindset anywhere mm. I go. No matter no matter what I'm where I'm at, I'm I'm constantly like coming coming to Atlanta, going to L I'm getting with different people because they got different information. So for you this might be easy, but still you said you you keep me out of the street, you keep me out for the yeah. young ones. How are you really leveling up being in Philly when again I might, I might be yeah. selling Philly short? Yeah, yeah. I just feel like when you come to Atlanta, everybody like you said, everybody doing it. So it's easy to like get game, I'm, get do different things. You want Philly, so it's like you really probably one in a few, one in five maybe. Maybe, yeah, maybe like five, but it's millions of dollars of real estate there. So me personally, I'm my own like own enemy to where though, listen, I gotta if I see myself getting a two million dollar building, I wanna see if I can get a five million dollar building. You feel me? And see how many people I can help. So it's mm -hmm. more so me, me versus me. It's not really about what nobody else is facts. doing. So like, you know, just nah, I'm pretty sure hard. you should be on the same time. No, no, facts, facts, yeah. no. Nah. But I, I can't ignore the importance of proximity, just being here. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like yeah, when, I was, more, yeah. when I was in Baltimore, I was doing my thing. Like, knew me, it yeah. was, for sure, it was lit. I came down here, I'm doing the same thing, but people just look at me level. like, different level, because it's level. different people here. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Different opportunities. Yep. That's what I was wondering. You know what's crazy? I think, like, sometimes I be thinking I hold my own self back by staying there. Mm -hmm. Like, a lot of people tell me, like, bro, you would be super big, like, if you were somewhere else. And I just be like, man, listen, I got hold. I be thinking I gotta hold. I'm like hold them down too as well. Mm. Like hold the young guys down, hold hold Philly down. But at the same time, I feel like it's weighing on my shoulders a little bit. I ain't definitely ain't trying to get killed there. Yeah. I ain't trying to get nipsy to nothing like that. But so I'm just I move. So I'm not. I don't live yeah, in Philly yeah, no more. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yo, is do you? As for, let's talk about that right. Even at, as as like us, we not even like where we want to be yet. Yeah. But you still kind of feel that burden on your back. I was talking to Mario about this. It's like. When you come from a city like Philly, Baltimore, maybe Chicago. I, I'm not really true. I know Philly for sure. I know yeah, Baltimore. Yeah, Chicago is there too, though. It's like when you come out, you got to. But I say maybe not Chicago because a lot of people already were successful from Chicago. Yeah. Like there's a lot of people from successful from Philly. Like no, there's a lot. a lot of people though, yeah. But it's still like, especially Baltimore, I'm sorry. Yeah. It's like when you come out and be successful, you got to put on. And if yeah. you don't, you getting burned. Sure. Like they're going to yeah. let you know. They're going to let you know. Yeah, that's why I was wondering. You. Like that burden that kind of heavy on your back. I mean, it's, it's especially like everything that I acquired in a small amount of time. Like I, I got a, I own a jewelry store. Yeah. Like we got, you know, real estate. It's just a lot on us. Like you know what I mean. So you, it's strategic. It's still like I'm kind of like in the streets. Like it's crazy. But at the same time, it's just like this is all I know. So you know, this is what I'm gonna do. Mm. I'm eventually I'm gonna get out though. Yo, so talk to me about this then. How do you? We talking about it a little bit, but. Just the notion of you gotta, you don't feel like you gotta move out your city to make it for real. I don't feel like I gotta move out, but I feel like if I stay there, something bad is gonna happen. Mm. Like I just feel like that, that, you know, that's just what it is because, you know, it's the crabs in the barrel mentality right. of people just like, yo, oh, she got all it. I might not be doing as as much as you think I'm doing. You know what I mean? Like I might be making two million dollars, but I gotta spend nine million. Mm. You feel me? So people just think like, all right, you know. He's worth fit. You never know what people think. Just like you, just by you moving, they can't tell what exactly like what you're doing. So they just gonna say, all right, listen, he worth 10 million. J Hill worth 10 million dollars. Let's talk about it. We talk about that all the time. Yeah. Bro. Like just the false expectations yeah. of like, bro, like I see you doing good. It's like, yeah, I'm doing good, bro. bro. You don't know what came with this. Bro. I gotta pay bi bills crazy. And then that automatically look at you and just feel some type of way because you can't do nothing for them. It's like, bro, you don't have no idea. That's why when we talk about when you make it to the top, it ain't you to change the people around you. Exactly. At first, I understand that. Yeah. Until I'm living it, it's like, damn, bro, you can't, you can't, you can't. Like, no, I can't. Yeah, once you work for it, just like I've been doing. Damn, yeah. bro. I, I don't know. Just people just be on some. They don't really want to work for it. They just want what you got. You gotta right. understand that as well, too. They just want what you got. They don't want what come with it. Yeah. They don't want to put like had to put in work. Like, yeah. and that's crazy because like even you, right? It's so easy to be like. Cause we 
we do these podcasts and these interviews, and they cool, right? Yeah. But I love the space that I'm in because I still remember yesterday. You yeah. know what I'm saying? A lot of niggas get that money and they forget. For sure. I still remember and I still got niggas on the ground, so I'm still tapped in. So like when we had these conversations, it's easy to look at you and be like, look at it work out. And like, man, he get money. Yeah. He got the big ass <laughs> chain. He got the glasses the whole time. Like you said, bro, you've been in this for 20 years. Yeah, I've been doing this for a while. I would hope so. Yeah. Like you if you're like, not, then it's like, damn, what you doing? Not even that though. Yeah. But like, I've been doing it for 20 years. So you you can't ex- you can't compare my day 100 to your day one, bro. Exactly. Like that's not even fair to do for you. I feel like it's easier for them to access information to get like they're faster nowadays. Mm. Like, you know what I mean? But they they still don't want to do that. They just want to, all right, look, he got this on. Let me get that. Yeah. You know, like that's how that's how our people is. But we just gotta change the narrative. No, like that, how, you know? how, you, how how we do that though? And this society. All right, like, I mean, how you can do it is, like, basically by showing them, like, listen, bro, look, you don't have to do this. Like, you don't have to sell drugs. Yeah. I'm much, like, I don't wear this shit every day. Like, you know what I mean? I'm wearing, you know, it's I'm a part I'm of wearing, marketing. Yeah, I'm wearing dickies. Yeah. You know, I'm wearing dickies, bro. Look, I'm wearing dickies and I'm in these houses with y'all. So I'm showing y'all. So you ain't going to be able to change the world. And but, that's, I mean, I don't yeah. know about you, but yeah. I mean, I would assume, like, I'm smart enough to know, like, you probably like you like you said, I put this shit on because it look good. It's, it's marketing. It's gonna get your eye for sure. But really, like, yeah, I don't give a f- about this. <laughs> you feel I mean, me? I got a jury store, so I got it. Like, it's just a, it yeah. was a billboard. You nah, know what I mean? facts. Damn, that's crazy. All right, let's let's give it. Let's get into the interview. All right, All right. we start real estate at seventeen. Yep. Um, you you bought your first crib for like five bands or something. Five like that. Five thousand. Yeah. Yep. First of all, you specifically did that to get out the streets, or no? So I mean, it kind I kind of stumbled on it. So basically, my grandma, right. She uh she was selling a house like she didn't want the house no more. Um, my great grandma, so she you know she just asked like who wanted to buy it. So I had a couple dollars laying around. Uh, I gave her the, I gave her the five thousand, but at the same time uh, I had went to jail and when I came home when I came home from jail I had sixty thousand saved and my aunt ended up ended up spending all the money in my safety deposit box. Damn. So I had like thirty five hundred dollars left. So I'm like damn, but I still got the house. So I start you know getting small gems in my head to where I'm like all right listen. Let me figure out uh, how to build this house, how to fix these houses up, and you know, go from there. And it mm. still didn't fully sink in there, but that's where it started at. Because like, it, but a lot you learned a lot from that. Cause like, yeah, yeah, like that. Learned a lot. What that five thousand dollar house was it? Because that's how much she owed. How, how did you get it for five? She um she owned the house. You know, back in the house, back in the day, like those houses, was, you know, she probably bought it for two k something like that. Like them houses in Baltimore right now. Yeah, no, I was going for the low, so it was one of those type of you know cities or whatever. You okay, know? yo, how do you what? How much you think that's now? Oh, that 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 house right there. No, is, not that one, uh, but like the equivalent to five thousand. Like, what would that be now? It'd be equivalent to now, maybe like I would say like thirty thousand. That's maybe. still like too crazy. Yeah, it's still like maybe like thirty k or something like that. That's a crazy turnaround. I mean, like, that's not that. That's not. I mean, crazy. so where it's at? So it's in Brewery Town. Brewery Town is where the house is going for four hundred thousand. Yeah. Damn. So it was like, you know, 30, to get a $30,000 house in a $400,000 area. Oh, that's crazy. It's, it's amazing. How much work you had to put in? You know how long it took me to do that shit? It took me like four years to fix that shit up. For real? Motherfuckers was fucking me over. I'm talking about, you know, you know charging me up for, for certain things. Like, it took me four years and I wasn't focused. Like, but you 17, how do you even like, get, I, don't, I can't even fathom me. I mean, I was on a different level mentally, like, you know. Like mentally, like I was always seeing money like at, at a young age. Mm. Like when I was like maybe 14, 15, I'm fifteen hundred dollars, you know, I was always coming up on money. Yeah. Like money always kind of found me, like everywhere I went. So like you it kind of forced you to like be yeah. more responsible with it and shit. More like responsible, that. yeah. And I had to take care of, you know, my, my sister, everybody. Like it was I had to make sure I leveled up for everybody. All right. So I think I don't know if you heard about this or, or you've been familiar. I heard like yeah. somebody on Instagram somewhere was saying, like, don't allow your parents to like Pass and give you a house, yeah. Inherit it through a trust or something like that. I'm yeah. Not, do, are you familiar with that? Yeah, I'm familiar with that. So basically, like with the trust, I'm we big on trust right now because in life insurance. So make sure you you set your life insurance up to make sure you put that inside your trust. Mm-hmm. To where that once you leave that, um, let me sidebar. So I had somebody come to me. Uh, the lady had 15 houses, right? That was left to her. Her grandma died. Left of the houses. The city, the city took 26% of what she had made, what her mom had made, what her grandma made. So that means she took 26% of all those earnings. Damn. So that's what made me think like, oh, how the f*** can we get around that? So we get around that by having a trust to where it's getting passed down from generation to generation, mm. not being taxed. 
Damn. You feel me? And then you want to make sure you have insur- insurance policies to pass that down. If you die, we're going to pass that down to each each generation. Million dollars, million dollars, million dollars. So we got three, four million dollars that just keep going and going. Yo, and, and, and you can borrow from your insurance policy. Yeah, you can borrow, yeah. But what is it a certain one? Because we got different So it's, it's, a, it's a whole life insurance policy. So Explains you want to make sure you start a whole life insurance policy. Make sure you get like a $2 million policy. Um, make sure it's a cash value to where so you can borrow off of it. So like even because somebody was just telling me about this. So basically, if I get a whole life insurance policy of two million dollars, yeah, and it's a cash, cash one, yeah, I can borrow a hundred thousand from it. No, but you gotta make sure the the money is actually built up in that. So say if you get something like a hundred thousand, a million dollar or two million dollar policy, and you got a hundred thousand dollar cash value in it, you can borrow up to eighty percent off of the policy. So that's the money that I. Put that's the money in that it. you put in. So there. I would have to at least put a hundred thousand. Yeah, so you can put at least a hundred. But so the the kicker is basically once you borrow the eighty thousand back off of it. You still that eighty thousand is still essentially inside of the policy, growing five to ten percent every year, and you get a term to actually pay back the money, and you don't need no credit or nothing to actually do it. So wait, when you say you got to be in it, because this one is that money like you know how you pay your bill every month. Yeah, that you had to pay up to a hundred thousand. No, so every year. month you can pay back like you might be on a fifteen hundred fifteen hundred dollars. But not or, no, I'm saying like, let me rephrase this question. Like let's say I get the two million dollar life insurance policy. Yeah, right? I gotta I. They bill, bill me every month. Yeah, they right? bill, yeah. Say, I don't know how much is like twenty dollars a month? No, it might be like maybe like five hundred dollars a month, four hundred dollars a month, something like that. So let's say it's five hundred dollars a month. I have to pay, once I pay up to a hundred thousand dollars, or once I get the insurance company up to a hundred thousand dollars, like how does that work? No, so you gotta be paid in. So if you paid in five thousand, you can borrow eighty percent of the five thousand. Okay. So if you paid in ten thousand, you can borrow eighty percent of the of the ten thousand. So I would have to pay yeah, in. Yeah, so at least. you had to pay in that. So a lot of people it might your head up because they might say, yo, we got a $4 million policy and we're going to borrow off that to buy real estate. Yeah. No, it don't go like that. You got to make sure you have that cash value inside of that policy. So why the f***? Because really out here making it I seem mean, like- they First of all, people don't know what the, what the fuck they talking about for real, for real. They just talking. Like, why would... If any, if anybody be doing it. Yeah, that, I ain't going like, to lie. That's what I'm asking. Like, yeah, like, But I hear that. Am I tripping? Y'all don't hear that on the ground. Be like, yo, you, you get a uh, million yeah. dollar life insurance policy. You can borrow from the life insurance yeah. policy. What happened is now, yo, if, if you don't pay it back, you got $900,000 on your life no. insurance. No, no, bro. That's wrong. So you got to be in you cash. Gotta be your in, money, though. Yeah, in cash value. And then at the same time, when you borrow that 10000 from the life insurance policy, your 10000 that you actually put inside the policy is growing yearly. Mm-hmm. So you still borrowing it. But it's only, you know, it depends on how much money you're actually placing inside of it. I mean, so, I mean, for me, that don't make, I wouldn't even. It makes sense if you got a million dollars or 500000 to place inside the policy. Now you can borrow, you can borrow 400000 and then invest inside of an apartment building. And now that cash flow pays back your, your actual policy. But the policy is still a and the policy 500, is still, The policy is still growing yearly. So this is a long-term play to where, though, in 10 years, 15 years now, now you're sitting on millions of dollars. But not on no 10,000, 20,000 type. No, it's cool. Because if you die, you still got a million dollar policy. Yeah. So it just depends on how you look at it. But you ain't about to get no 100,000. No, though. but it's really for your kids or somebody else. Like, So say if you die and you got a million dollar policy that you only pay 5,000 for. Oof. Once you die, they going to get the million dollars. Fact. Oh, that's crazy. You feel me? Like, we all going to die, right? Nah, we, fact. We all, we all going to die here. Yeah. So, you know, they, they going to get rich off that. Damn, that's hard. Have yeah. you done that with the cribs yet, or nah? um, yeah? So basically, um, I have a I have a two million dollar policy right now. Mm. You know, I didn't I didn't go full you know all we in, but you know I got a hundred thousand in one policy. Yo, this episode is sponsored by the Morning Meetup. Man, shout out to my guy David Shines. Man, he's probably one of the few people I know who actually built multiple multi million dollar businesses. Right? He created the Morning Meetup to help other entrepreneurs do the same thing. Now listen, as an entrepreneur myself, I know how hard it can get, especially when we start making money. And we get to like this financial cap that we can't get past. And honestly, let's be real. They say it ain't what you know, it's who you know. We probably can't get past this cap because we either, one, outgrew the people around us, or two, we just being lazy and weighing in the rooms we need to be in. It's just plain and simple. But trust me, this is your time because the morning meetup is that room we got to be in. It's filled with, filled with entrepreneurs getting to it. They reading different books every month, right? They holding each other accountable. And it's just honestly just something dope to be a part of. So listen, if you're an entrepreneur and you're trying to get to this bag, you're trying to flourish more than you've been flourishing now, you got to go to the morningmeetup.com. That's www.themorningmeetup.com and join now. Let's get to it. I'll see you there. Yo, how is real estate? I feel like I'm getting mixed reviews with real estate right now. Like, yeah. Niggas saying, one, per, one people saying like, 
It ain't never going going out of style. Other people saying, man, this shit is shits. Like, you ain't about to buy nothing. And we really can't do no <laughs> quick flips. You can't. Like, it's really. All right, so, I mean, so right now, I would say real estate, I would say it's in the best state, honestly. To Everybody, be honest. But I feel like no, I'm going to get that from. No, but listen, the reason why I say that is because, all right, so for Instagram, okay, it's, that's shitty. Like, everybody on some bullshit. Like, all right, <laughs> right. We, you know, they on some bullshit on there. It's only a select few people. Right. You know what I mean? But as far as the real value, if you know what you're doing, you're going to make money. So it's all about the long-term play. Everybody want to be microwave. They want to make the fucking shit right now. It's not going to happen like but right you, now. But at one point, you could do that. You could, it was, I mean, yeah, at one point. But listen, so this will be the best time because the value of properties are going down. Interest rates are going higher. So you can actually buy houses for less. Okay. And then the value is going to grow in two years. So if you can make a couple million dollars in two years but not get it up front, you're going to take that, right? Yeah. Some people rather take the ten thousand right now. Oh no, nah, no. Nah. You know, I need and, a delayed grab. Yeah, you know, that's so that's what it's all about. That's why they saying it's shitty. What's the best way to get the bag back? I would say the, the best way to get the bag right now is really just tapping in with your city council, knowing what's gonna happen. So we sitting right here in a maybe a twenty million dollar building, right, right? So we you didn't know that this was being built five years ago, right? Mm. So mainly what you wanna do is you wanna go to the city council, see what they actually building and then tap in with them. All right, what if I hold up? Let's let's break it down on my on my yeah. level. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know we got niggas. Let's come back down to my level. All right. Let's say you're a nigga that you work you working, yeah. right? And you just try to invest in some shit. Yeah. What's the best, what's the best route you would suggest? I would say the best route is like you got you gonna have to get a mentor. But I would say if you coming in at at you know at a hundred thousand, you're gonna say real estate is shitty because you're only gonna make a five percent or a ten percent return. Off the so, hundred off the hundred thousand. So you might make ten thousand, you know, in a year off of mm. real estate, or you may maybe make thirty thousand in a year or forty thousand. That's not going to be enough money for you. I mean, thirty for not the average. Bad. Yeah, thirty not bad, but you will want to make a hundred to two hundred thousand, right? That's way better. Yeah, that's way better. So mainly, what you got to do is you got to get with the, the investors. It's not really all about how much money you have and how much you know. It's really about who you know. It's about your contacts. Nah, fact. Because I was gonna say like. I would assume I'm trying to be an investor. If I got yeah. a couple dollars, even if I, I mean, let's say I got 50, like yeah. I'm just trying. 50,000 ain't going to go so far. So that's what people be thinking. They'd be like, all right, bro, work out. I got 200,000. I got 100. Bro, these buildings is 100 millions. But you can't just buy a house. I'm just like, I mean, you can buy, you can buy. So I teach the young guys, right? I teach them to buy a house for like 50K, right? Mm -hmm. It's just a starter flip. $50,000 house, maybe put 60,000 into it. You all like into it one ten, right? Yeah. So that house might appraise for maybe one eighty or one ninety. So you'll take off of you know off of two hundred thousand, you'll take fifty percent. That's one fifty. So you'll make forty thousand on the refinance. So you'll take that money and invest it into your next building. Mm. So that's how you can start off small. But that's the smaller way of thinking. But it's just getting you in the game, just getting okay. your feet wet. Okay. You know so I mean? that's like little boy shit. We ain't no yeah, yeah, yeah. Time. I mean, but still, still, yeah, still, you want to do it? Cause I'm thinking like, like, so I don't know if you know uh, Terrell and Smith. No, nah, I never heard of. Damn, she going crazy. She going crazy. Boy, I'm yeah. I'm surprised you don't know who she is. Yeah. So, her, so I, her and my guy David Shans, they got this crazy relationship where like, I oh, guess, I think I know you talking about. She be yeah, the the lady uh flipper. Yeah, yeah, like, but she like she like go that. She ain't gonna yeah, lie, I but see like, her. and I was like, man, if I could like find somebody like that, so I bet I guess like she got like like an a investor little, group. And, yeah, yeah. I, you, I, so I got an investor group, right? I'm gonna be honest, right? I fuck money up with the investor group, right? How, how so? How because, so? like, like say, so we had a $50,000 play or whatever that I was going to do. And we went to go turn the money over. We bought the house, fix it up, and then the market ended up crashing to where I didn't make as much money. Oh, shit. So, shit, I'm on the hook for the money because, you know, it's, it's nothing else. You, mean, you made the 50 back, though. I mean, we made, we, we made a little bit more than that, but at, at the same time, I'm still the main investor, so I got to pay them back. Right. So a lot of people don't know, like, when you've been an investor, it takes years to recoup money. You know, like, it takes years to recoup money sometimes or turn it over. Mm. So every investment that you make is not going to be a great investment. You know, we can go in it thinking it's going to be a great investment, but it might flop. Like right. your podcast right now. No, no, my shit ain't. No, no, no. No, I ain't saying it's going to flop. Fuck with fuck with <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying. Some people going like, yo, listen, we're going to make this shit happen. Yeah. Two months later, now they doing something else. Oh, no, you got to put some time in. You got to put the time in. Side note. We gonna come back to this, yeah. but that's why I'm not. I, I don't really like the the new school. I'ma sound like an old nigga because yeah. I feel like a lot of niggas are is praising the quick flips. Like, no pun intended. Yeah, man, I, I only been doing this for six months, bro. I'm going crazy, and I'm like it's cool, but it's like, bro, I feel like 
Come back in two years. Yeah, goes, you feel me? That, that balloon gonna be popped. Yeah, and not even that. Like I, I would hope it's not. But I'm just no, saying, like that's not that's time. not the most exactly. Yeah, if you time. are somebody yeah. that's, you gotta understand, like that's an anomaly, and that's yeah. cool for them. We should salute them, but don't go in and thinking no. that's the norm. And I think that's what society is today. Yeah, that's niggas, what it is today. Yeah, niggas going in and think it's like, yeah, I'm a. Nah, mm. it does, does. First of all, you gotta make sure you like kind of like level everything out to where though. Like me personally, I'm a general contractor license. You know, I'm licensed. You know, we sell jewelry. Like, you got to make sure you do everything in that craft. Mm. Like, so I got five ways to make money in real estate. You know, you got to make sure you do funding. You got to make sure you do everything. And, and it takes time for you to get that under your belt. Mm. You're not going to learn how to flip houses in six months. Mm. Like, come on, bro. All right, let's go back to yeah. it, it might flop. So, the, like, did you just say, forget it? Because that ain't really what wasn't the No, no. So, so basically what I did was uh, I, I paid the investors. I paid the investors back. And now I'm starting to, you know, we starting a new thing to where as though I needed to know what I was doing. I, like I was street, I was doing it like street hustling. I didn't know what I was actually doing, but I'm still a good guy to where as though if we lose money, I'm paying it back. Yeah. So now I said, all right, look, I'm going to recoup and now I'm going to get my, I'm going to get my shit together. When I come back in, we're going to be buying apartment buildings because that's where I'm at now. Okay. So it's funny because I had asked somebody else about that. Yeah. And they were saying that. She might just be an anomaly because most times it don't really like it don't hit like the uh, investment. No, I mean, I mean it, it worked. I mean, it worked for a lot of people. Like I, I did, I did a couple deals. Like I'm not like, but it's still you. You maintaining somebody else's money. Mm. Like it's it's, it's kind of like too much. Like you babysitting. To be honest, like you gotta you you gotta really study the greats that have funds. That's you know that's running. You know the richest black guy in the world. He runs a successful fund. So you got to make sure you have you run you study the grades. Give me the game. What's a, what's a fund? So a fund is basically like when you have a bunch of investors, okay. and you know they, they might come in at you know a hundred thousand or a million dollars, but they got to be an accredited investor to where as though they making over two hundred and sixty thousand a year. If I give you some money, you're not gonna be like, yo, bro, I need my money back in two months. That's okay. what people are doing. So by the by the by them doing that, that kind of fucks the game up because when you invest in somebody money, you should be holding it for at least about three years. Like, because you got to go through this deal, this deal, that deal, and this deal. You know, a lot of people just want their money right back, the microwave shit, yeah. real fast. So you got to make sure you're dealing with the right people first, and then from there, I think it will work. Like, she working with the right people. Nah, that's crazy. Nah, damn, I ain't never... Because I'm thinking, like, like I said, I look at that, I'm like, nah, nah, I'm like, bro, if I could just, as a business owner, yeah. focus on what I'm focused on, I get a relationship with somebody who's really good at that, yeah. I just give them the bread, yeah. and they just come back whenever... The, the situation done. Yeah, but you gotta make sure you have con you gotta make sure you have contracts and understand the contract and understand everything that's going on before you do that. Cause so a lot of people, right? Say if they looking at me, work out, bro. He, you know, work out. He doing his thing. So you might have a hundred thousand saved up and then give work out eighty five thousand. Yeah. Now you got fifteen thousand. That fifteen thousand gonna be fucked up. And now you're like, damn, work out is six months. Yeah. Can I get my money? Nah, bro. Thanks. No, it's, we, we still investing. So that's what you that's what you gotta look at when you're dealing with people. And sometimes it might be two years. That y'all ain't it's funny because I don't even know this guy. I know yeah. uh, my guy Wolf just interviewed him. I think he had some 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 fucked up shit happen. Yeah. That I don't know your name in Philly. Probably not gonna say the nigga name anyway. But <laughs> some I might be sure. You probably know what I'm talking about. <laughs> talking about the, uh, I don't know his name. You, I don't even Yeah. Okay. I think like so yeah. is that is niggas is like is that just happening like where I mean I, I like I, outside of his situation. Outside of his situation, yeah, 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 that yeah. happens. That happens, and some people, you know, I don't really want to talk about that yeah, shit. Yeah, but yeah, niggas yeah. is, uh, you know, shit is fucked up, bro. That's because it's like I would think maybe because we on a different. I would think like if you invest in something, you got to understand is a is a pro and like yeah. it's not guaranteed though. Like so you he can't was be he mad. was like I, I fuck with I fuck with as a person. He was doing that shit way and before. We could, we could give me a timestamp because we we could. Uh, yeah, yeah, one had to. Um... So, so, so first, right? As a person, I fuck with him, right? But he basically what he did was he was getting people before they actually knew what was going on. Mm. A lot of motherfuckers know what's going on right now. So when you he, say before they even know, be, like, so say if, like you don't know it, be, like maybe five years ago you ain't know nothing about building a credit profile, right? Right, yeah, yeah. Fact. Like so he was like investing and doing that stuff maybe seven, eight years ago, getting your money, his money, had money. And then of course, he was um, returning. I was. I saying. say that's. Shit, he was that's returning, shit. but then at the at the same time, you know, like say if you got fifty people money and you just you really don't have a setup to do this shit. Yeah, like you don't have a system. In place. Yeah, you don't have a system at all. To where those like, oh shit, I got this money, that money, and then your contractors run off on you, and then you got this, and then you got that. Now you got finished twenty Damn. houses. Now you like, oh shit, what the and fuck? Niggas I'm ain't trying here. Ain't my trying bad, here. or I ain't. Nah. 
And then you got to pay mortgage notes on those properties that you got. Then you got to do that. That shit is a lot, bro. Damn. So I feel like he's not a bad dude, but shit just caught up with him. Do you, yo, you could take out the name, the first name. But I was, uh, <laughs> nah, because we don't want nobody yeah, 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 trying to sure. me like, we ain't on that. Yeah, yeah, we, no, we don't no, got no. to sell out. So <laughs> no, 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 for sure. You know what I'm saying? The nah. content going to sell itself. Yeah. But that's crazy because you would think, um, I damn. So when you doing deals, right? And yeah. like, do you are you trying to get outside investors? Or are you like you ain't no, really? no. So not not no more, right? So I want to. I like to be the master at what I'm doing. So before I invest your money, I'm going to know exactly what we're doing. So I made a mistake doing it already. So I learned from my mistake. I didn't take money from 20 people or 30 people. You know, I may, maybe did like 10 or 15 or 20 people, and we got it. You know, how I long? Got that how long was that? Just curious. So the like first, how long it took the, you to the first the first deal? Uh, it was like maybe 15 people. I'm gonna tell you a quick story. It was 15 people. I returned 14 people money. Right? Oh, they all got their money back. But that so look, like, that last person, right? <laughs> So look, 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 so look. Fraud. Nah, 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 not even that. So listen, we go to the closing table. The house, his mom's house about to get foreclosed on. So the house was fifty five thousand. This is my guy. This is still my guy. My guy West. The house was fifty five thousand. So his mom had Alzheimer's to where though she couldn't sign a deed. Damn. So they end up saying, "No, listen, we are not gonna do that." But he like, "All right, work out. Keep the fifty five thousand. So I'm gonna be honest with you. The fifty five thousand two years later was gone. But I still got my own money. Yeah. I still got my own money. So. Two years later, I filed for lawyers. I did everything we needed to do in order for them to get their property. So, I, you know, I paid the lawyers. I did all that. And then, you know, two years later came by, and he was like, bro, I need the 55000 so we got to do something. So what I do, I cast him right out, and then we made the deal happen. So okay. I feel like you got to make sure if you ever going to do some shit like that, make sure you, you're going to be able to cover somebody's money. It's crazy because we hearing so many stories. I mean, even we just said a name, but, like, yeah. I'm just thinking. I'm like, it's so many stories out here now. Yeah. Like. Millions of dollars. Yeah, like the nigga uh, on a breakfast club. Like we yeah. can say, like it's crazy because no. like it's it's so much shit going it's, on. It's a lot of shit going on. That's why you don't ever hear shit about me. Damn. Like I'm like I'm always going. Like that's why I don't, I'm, I don't want to invest your money either because you don't. They don't know what an accredited investor is, right? They give you their last money because they see you look good on Instagram or you spitting game on Instagram. Like you're not supposed to do that before you invest. Make sure you have a nice amount of money to where as though you can be like, all right, look, I'm cool. We can we gonna re reconsume this three years from now. To where mm -hmm. so I'm still watching my investment, but we, I'm not looking to get my money back in a year or, or you know something like so that. So you so you kind of like if a nigga gonna invest, first of all, it gotta be enough. Yeah. Second of all, it gotta be contract three years minimum. Yeah, it got it gotta be a contract of two to three years because so if, if I'm buying a 32 unit, right, it's gonna take me at least a year and a half to fix it up. You know, something like that. You know, once I fix it up now, we're going to refinance it. The check off of it might be 2 to $3 million. Mm. But people don't want to sit through that year and a half. But that's, I mean, that's 30, you said 32. 32 units. Yeah, I'm thinking like niggas be trying to do like just two houses flip no, type we, shit. No, like. we ain't doing that. Oh, that's too, that's No, too we ain't doing that. <laughs> Yeah, we ain't doing that. No. <laughs> that's no boy no shit. <laughs> no, we ain't doing that. Damn. You ain't going to be able to make money off of that. So listen, what you going to make off the cash flow, you going to make... Three four hundred dollars off cash flow. What is that gonna do for your pocket every month? Mm. So that's on some. So that's on some rent and shit, right? No, that's it. on some. Like once you refinance it, you might get the forty thousand dollar check, but now you still got to keep the building. You feel me? So mm. now the cat, the tenant might pay you fifteen hundred. The rent is only eighteen fifty. Mm. So you're gonna take three fifty cash flow. How can two or three people uh, split that up? Nah, facts. Would you even do that on, on some one man type shit? Like, uh, nah, no. Nope. I'm gonna be honest with you. Nope. We coming in big boy shit or, or nothing. Even first, he, right, take 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 your experience out of it. Yeah, let's you just the average nigga. You work in the law. You know what I'm saying nine to five. I mean, I help you. I help you. Get but what you shit. suggested though? Yeah, I, I like because that's getting you in the game. Mm. Now you can get it. Like so, the lenders don't want to lend to nobody that don't have experience. Mm. So by you getting in the game, that's why I suggest like you get your credit cards or get a line of credit. Once you get that now, like you're in the game now. Cause I'm hearing like rent, like rental properties ain't really like we talk. I talked to Ramel. Yeah. He was like, man, he got out of it because yeah, niggas want they don't want to pay rent. It's hard to get them out. Yeah, they fuck up your your stuff. So like, uh, so you you want to go with guaranteed rental income, like you want to go with guaranteed. So you want to go with Section Eight. You want to go with, you know, uh, Booking.com. You want to go with um. You want to go with those type but of even sites my, like that. I, I just had a story today. My man did the section eight. Yeah. He said the family. He's like he, at first it was good because he was getting guaranteed bread every month. Yeah. But once I guess it was time for them to move out or something, they fucked his shit all the way up. Okay, I got I got insurance. That's that's mm -hmm. running. I'm going. I'm gonna run a bag up. So you, but you wouldn't suggest like just 
on your own type, running it out type shit. No, I mean, so, yeah, I mean, that you got to go through that shit, though. You got to go through the ups and downs. It's not, like, real estate is just not, like, peaches and cream. Mm. So you're going to go through whatever you're going to go through. It's just like at your job, like, everything, or your podcast, like, wherever you at, you're going to go through something. No, so fact. they fuck my house up. All right, I got insurance. Let's go to the next thing. So you, now I'm just picking your brain. Yeah. You as a, since you do real estate, right? Yeah. What are some of the things that you personally are investing in outside of real estate to, to have free or have your money make money? I mean, so of course we we invest in jewelry, like gold and diamonds. Mm. Um, I invest in just being a contractor, just fixing properties up, um, like just having my contractor license. I make millions off of that. You know, you, you know, I gonna say yearly, but maybe what you two do? three years. What you mean? Talk so, for instance, right by me being a general contractor, say if I got a mentee, I can I buy your house, I find a house by being a wholesaler first because I know how to um, skip trace and find houses. To whereas I might get it for seventeen thousand. Sell it to you for like twenty three thousand, mm. right? Now I'm going to fix your property up. So my rehab budget on a thousand square foot house is seventy five thousand. Now hold on, hold on, hold on. We got time, bro. <laughs> y'all, y'all got somebody. I know you've been working all day. <laughs> no, we good. All right, you got it because you skipping past, bro. Let's slow <laughs> no, down. We, right. Slow down. All right. Contractor. Yeah. Give me how we doing this. All right, so, so not twenty years experience. No, no bro. I'm talking about right now. All right, right come now. On. All so right. listen, if I'm if you're a general contractor. I got five. I got five people that I pay maybe two hundred to one hundred and fifty dollars every day, mm -hmm. right? So your property might be seventy five thousand to fix it up. The person, the not person, the, that, not the general contractor. No, like so, I'm the general contractor. Right. My workers, I'm going to get it done for forty thousand or forty five thousand. So I'm gonna do your contract and I'm gonna make thirty thousand off of my off contract. That. I mean, I got a house. Yeah. I need some. Work. You need to. You need I'm to get call the you and I'm gonna you get it fixed. Send your guys to do it. Yep. Okay. What? How much time you doing? How so, much time is that taking out of your your your, your schedule though? I'm oh, talking. It ain't taking nothing out of my schedule. So basically, that's my business. I have a contracting business. So it's, it might be like ninety days that I'm gonna finish that house for you. Mm. So if I'm doing three houses, that's ninety thousand every you know every ninety days. How you finding these contracts? I find the contractors at Home Depot, uh, or if not I'm, the contractors like the people that need it. Oh, the con it's my mentees. The people that need help. Yeah, the, yeah, the my mentees. So I got a whole operation going. But you see, you give me 20 years into a nigga that don't have mentees. A okay, nigga. but you don't, so, I mean, you can go on prop screen. Mm. You can go on prop screen. See that a game? Come on, yeah, give so me listen, game. So look, you can go on prop screen and then you can just Google realtors or you can go Google people who just bought houses. Mm. So once you find out who bought houses, you can underbid what their contractor is actually going for. But that's shady, right? It is, it is what it is. <laughs> The we game is to make money. money. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we have. I'm just curious. I'm just seeing where you I mean, at. what you just going to stand at Home nah. Depot? Like, yo, you need to... No, nah, I'm trying to see where you at. Okay, cool, nah, cool, cool. it's not so shady. We, we go in there, we underbid. Fuck them, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I got this for a better or price. Or you just go to the realtors. You know, go to the go to the, go to the realtors that's selling. And then at, actually, when you're at the closing table, you can tell them, all right, listen, I got a contracting business. I can help you wherever you need to be helped at. Mm. So it's really all about getting with that person that's going to kind of help you out. Everything's all about, you know... Knowing people, knowing the right people. Is that a smart investment? Let's say I know somebody that, that that does contract work, right? Yeah. And I gave them some bread to like, is that a is that a good uh, investment? To put in? Yeah. Um, I mean, it would be. All right, look. So I see you trying to get around. Like you, yeah. you want to you want to make some I'm money. I want my man. I want my people to. You know what I'm saying? We yeah. Trying. All right. So listen, I would say, look, a good business to invest in, right? Real estate is a good business to invest in. You just it gotta be for the long term. It has to be. It has to be long term. If you're not really fully into it, then you're not gonna get into it. Um, you can invest with somebody, but you gotta be right there with the person. Mm. It's not nothing is gonna be. I'm not gonna tell you nothing that's fat. I'm not one of those dudes that's gonna get up nah. there and be like, yo, let me give you this hack, and I'm going to forget you how to do this. Forget fast. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking yeah. of buying time back. Yeah, buying time. I, I, I'd rather have time back. Forget the fast. Yeah, yeah. It could be three. It could be five years. Yeah. I'm talking about something that you ain't gonna have to like. I could just give it to somebody and I don't have to put no time in. I mean, you, I mean, you can give it to, you know, that's by apartment building. We can team up on that to mm. where though now you like we got if you got 30 units or better, you know, you make if you make, you know, twenty five thousand dollars cash flow every month, that's good money. Yeah. You just gotta come in a little bit bigger. So if you come in and on a, you know, let me get a residential property, you're not that's not gonna be enough. You gotta come in, save your money up, you know, whatever you're doing. How like much you, you got, think? hundred two? I would say yeah, I would say like at least a hundred, hundred fifty thousand. One fifty is obtainable. Yeah, one fifty. Hundred fifty thousand. So if you get a if you get a uh so if you get a hundred thousand dollar building, that's twenty thousand. A five hundred thousand dollar building, that's you know, that's a hundred thousand, a million. What's the most people you would do business for when it comes to a thirty two unit? Uh thirty, maybe maybe like no more than four people. Mm. No more than four people. How mm. much you think that is? 
I mean, the spread. So say we get like a you know like a two million dollar building, what would that be? I don't got my calculator. Yeah, let's, on. let's get this. You know let's, let's, get this let's get this information. In We're gonna quick. get these niggas this game. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So listen. He so, thought it's gonna be sweet. Nah, nah. So we got two million divided by point twenty. All right. So let me see. Hold on. So you got two million dollar building, right, y'all? So you're going to times that by point twenty. Wow. Give us the. Give us the. Give so us the, wow. point twenty is twenty percent that you got to put down to the lender. Okay. Okay. So that's gonna be four hundred thousand. Okay. So we got four people. That's a hundred thousand a piece. Uh, I told uh, you. Yeah, that. So I, my, I, knew, I knew my math. Okay. So a hundred thousand a piece. So that four hundred thousand that you actually put up in a year or two, we can turn. We can refinance the property and turn that into two million dollars. Mm. You feel me? So you turn now that, you get that out. Yeah, you'll get that, and then you will divide that into by four. So you're making five hundred thousand a piece, and we still have the building. So I just made a hundred. Well, I just made four hundred. Yeah, you just you just made you just made. So we got five hundred thousand. Yeah, so divided we made four hundred. What's five hundred thousand divided by four? Oh, that's it's like one twenty five. One twenty five. So that's one twenty five. I made twenty five. Yeah. So you made twenty five, but, but we still got we still getting a twenty five or whatever shit. every you know every month. And then Dang. the building is just going to keep appreciating to where the value is just going to keep growing more and but more. But that take work though, right? That's I'm talking about buying no, time. No, that's not going to take work because like, all right, so this building that we in right here, we don't got to do nothing. The, the food is like, the gas going to be higher, the food inflation. Mm. So that just goes up yearly no matter what. How you get tenants for that though? For these type of spots? Yeah. And like, it's like, I mean, so basically you can put, so tenants, you're you going to go to anywhere. I ain't define tenants. Um, you can. I, I really do like Section Eight, but how did they find you? They, they get These in. people, I found them. All right, so you're gonna find them. So if you got the best real estate in the best areas, you are gonna come come there. So uh -huh. we're not buying no bullshit real estate. To Damn. whereas though, we're gonna make sure you making at least a hundred thousand a year, your median income. Once I look at that, that to whereas though you are making that much money, now I know he's gonna be able to cover my two thousand or three thousand a month rent. Uh, so wait, you got this ebook? You got a couple ebooks? Yeah, I got a couple ebooks. What, what's what's the what was the first one about? Uh, the first one was about how to become a a, a millionaire. How to become a millionaire? I mean, all right, so, okay, I guess. Like, all right, I'm just saying, it was just something that no, I wrote. I feel, you, I feel you. So I'm like, but it was just like it really is. Really was like not the money. It was just about my mindset. mentality. So what's like what? So all right, so my mentality was uh, you know, I was locked up. You know, I did six years in jail. So imagine twenty three years and twenty three and one, Damn. in a cell smaller than this. Yeah, that's crazy. Reading real estate books. See, I'm surprised they let you do that shit. Man, listen, sm sell small in this, reading real estate books. I already knew my mentality was going to grow from there. Like, I already knew, listen, I'm going to be a millionaire because nobody's in here doing it. They bullshitting, lifting weights, pushing, doing all that, I'm worrying about what they girl doing. I'm worrying about when I get out here, how to formulate a plan. Mm -hmm. You know, how are we going to open up a jewelry store? How are we going to get these buildings? I'm thinking about all that type you of shit. You think about that in jail? In jail, bro. In Damn. jail. So you get out, first thing you do is what? First thing when I get out... um. So I had all these, I had all these, say it, just speak. So I had, uh, I had all these, uh, I had maybe like, I don't know, like 12 to 12 buildings or whatever when I wait, came wait, home. Wait, 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 wait. Like when you came home. Yeah, when I came home. So I oh, went to jail had... multiple times. Oh, okay. I went okay. to jail multiple times, but I got houses, I got houses for the low, 5,000, 6,000, 2,000. So your like, mindset was already there. No, nah, but still, I was, I still, but I was in jail though. What you get out of for the last time? Oh man, this guy, he's he going, he's he going, he going for that. What? Nigga, we talking? <laughs> no, I, got, I got locked up for selling drugs. Well, y'all ain't, ain't do this on other podcasts? Uh, no, they, don't, they ain't dig that deep. What the fuck they was talking deep. about? <laughs> <laughs> what? No, so I, I got locked up. So basically, uh, like, I my uncle we used to sell drugs, right, when I was young. And so he was selling drugs and, um, I looked at him. I looked at basketball nah, I mean, players. Bro, I'm from the city. Yeah. I, I, I'm looking at, I, yeah, I mean, listen, I'm looking at all them type of niggas, and I'm looking. I, I mean, I want a chain. I want a watch. I want a car. Bro, I, you don't got no, to explain that to me. Saying, yeah, I'm just telling yeah, you, yeah. like, to the person that the average person that don't understand why a person would sell drugs, because everybody watches this, right? Yeah, yeah, you're right. I'm, so, I'm, I'm so, down selling my, my yeah, platform. You're so right. the average, to the average person that don't understand, we didn't come up around money. We ain't know about credit. We ain't yeah. know about none of that shit, none right? Of that shit. So at the same time, we like, all right, listen. Listen, I want to get it. How how you getting it? So, you know, they're going to give you a pack and keep moving. Facts. So, me personally, I'm like, listen, I'm not, I, can, I ain't all my homies dying. Like, I ain't trying to do this shit. So, I'm like, I got to get out of this so shit. So, you had one foot in and one foot out. Because yeah. you said you came home to yeah. take some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had, I had, at, one, at one point, I did, yeah. Okay, so, but. But I wasn't doing shit with the houses. At, like, with the, you know, I wasn't doing nothing. Okay, so you had the houses. You come home and now your mindset is right. Yeah, my mindset is different. Yeah, okay, so that's give me the ebook though. When you like, what's all right? So, so the ebook actually, like, 
when I was home, I went to like, all right, I'm like, listen, um, I went to like when I was in locked up, when I was in the 23 and one. So I'm just thinking like, damn, how did, how did I get there? So I'm just showing you like, all right, look, I attained these houses, how I got my first one, that kind of changed my life. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm telling them in the ebook. All right, look, make sure you get your first property. Make sure your mindset is right before you actually get into anything. Give me three three important values I have in my mindset right when I get my first property. I would say uh, discipline, dedication, and determination. That's real easy, right? So you want to be disciplined, understanding that, listen, you might not be able to get a loan at that time. You might got to stick it out before, you know, because they change shit all the time in real estate. Okay. You know, you got to be determined to every day, Get that fucking house done. Every day, listen, look, be on the contractors because if you're not on the contractors, they might be out. Not overlooking anybody that's watching this, but let's go deeper. Pause. On yeah. another level. Okay, we know that. Yeah. Discipline, dedication, and um determination. Determination. Yeah. On a smart, let's say we we already got that. Yes, yeah. we got the money to invest. What yeah. would you say? Three key important, but they they got the money to invest. Yeah. They about to get their first uh investment property. But they really don't know too much about real estate. Give me three important factors. So I would say the number one thing is making sure you have a great contractor. Make, okay. like, the contractor is going to make or break you. Like, you say literally. great. A lot of niggas might confuse that with cheap. No, listen. No, no, no. Make or break you. Like to where is the right? Say if, you, say if your budget is $75,000 for your, for your actual property that you're doing, right? Mm -hmm. um, they might. And then, you know, another person might say it's 90000 Or another person might say it's hundred. You don't actually know because you don't actually know the game. You got to know how much everything costs before you buy it, right? So that's like, if you don't know what it costs, then you're not going to be able to, you're just going to be like, all right, fuck it, 100000 mm -hmm. or 80000 So me personally, I understood, all right, look, this house costs, I mean, this uh, this kitchen costs 5500 or this bathroom going to cost 3000 in materials. How you find that out? Because I go to Home Depot. Okay. I go to Home Depot. How much this tub costs? How much this toilet cost? A toilet only costs $150. Mm. So that means, like, another contractor told me they had charged me $800 to put a, a toilet in. It's only two screws, one bolt, put it in, keep it moving. Mm. Another person might charge me $150. So you got to kind of know that's the most important part of real estate, understanding, being a contractor, knowing how much shit costs first. Uh, so a lot of niggas in our position, not in your position, but yeah. like in the position that the people we talking to, yeah. they think, all right, I go to Home Depot, I can just holler at my, uh, my, my Spanish guys. Yeah. And get it done. Yeah. What what do you suggest your thoughts on that? I mean, you can so so the the main thing, right? So if something costs one hundred and fifty thousand, uh, one hundred fifty dollars, or you gotta know how much this square foot, you know, it costs as well. So if you got a thousand square foot house, it might be one hundred and fifty one dollars per square foot. Mm. So that automatically gives you your budget. So you want to make sure you have a rehab budget first. Mm. So before you get in, like, say if you at the closing table, before you get there, you want to see how much this shit is gonna actually cost me everything. You know, and then from there, then you'll be like, all right, listen, I got 5000 for HVAC. Or you can just Google that shit. You can, how much do an HVAC cost in Philadelphia? Or how much do an HVAC system cost in Atlanta? Mm. And they're going to tell you how much it costs. So it might give you a low number and you're going to get a high number. And then you'll, you you can meet in the middle. But you'll, you'll already know a ballpark um, area to be at. You know, instead of you going in and a person saying, all right, this HVAC system is going to be 25000 You don't actually know because you don't know anything about contracting. Mm. So th that's the most important part. There's no really no three. It's just one thing you really need to know. So it's not even three. I was about to say, what a second. <laughs> I mean, I would, I would just say that because, like, once you once you know your numbers, just knowing your numbers, period, in real estate, knowing what your average repair value is going to be, knowing how much your, your rehab budget is going to be, that's the most important part because you know, all right, in a year, this is going to be this, and you know, you know what you have. Yo, how do you know if you're getting a good deal on a property or not? All right, so say if you got, say, I mean, so if you got a $100,000 house, you want to at least uh, get it for at least about 70000 So that's the 70% rule because it's 70% under the retail price. You want to make sure you always under that in case if anything happened, you already under that. But I would assume niggas ain't trying, if I, at my house, is, I'm just a regular nigga, I don't know nothing yeah. about this. My house worth a hundred. I'm trying to sell it for a hundred. I ain't trying to go for see. I mean, but that's when you that's when wholesaling come in. You got to get a motivated buyer that's going to sell it to you for seventy or sixty five. So all right, you ain't selling it. I'm gonna go to the next person. Mm. I'm gonna. It's, it's so much. It's, it's, there's a lot of real estate out here. Okay. So I'm gonna just keep it moving until I get that right deal. What else you got in the ebook? Um. So I got the. You know, I got the contracting ebook. I got the um. How to be. That's the important one. Uh. That other e. The other ebook I have. Uh, you said the contract is the important one. Yeah. I mean that. That's I got. Four different ebooks. What's your last one? So my last ebook was the How to Become a Contractor, and that's what I just kind of broke down. Okay, okay. The first one is just like shifting your mindset to get you to where you need to be at. Um, we have another one about just uh, about flipping properties as well, uh, how to buy, sell, and flip houses. I'm gonna get out of the way to 
to the listeners. Uh, you know. <laughs> That's the one you want. I, I want you to give away the one you don't want to give away. You was too. You was too. Each, Let me get that one away. Nah, you was too. You was too. He was, he was, he was anxious, but nah, nah, nah. nah. He's anxious to do that one. Nah, I want the contract the nah. one, nigga. Nah, I need at least three of them because you was uh, too anxious. <laughs> I mean, it's, 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 I'm gonna it. get out of the way. Yeah, yeah. No, we no, need but it. that's good though, cause like buying, selling, and flipping, like you gotta understand, you gotta know what that, you know how to how to do that as well, because but we not in the flippers market right now. You still can flip houses, but you know houses might sit on the market for two to three months. So let me get three uh, contracts. How much that cost? Three contracts? No. How, how much they cost? How much they cost? They cost like forty bucks, like forty dollars. What's the highest one? The highest one uh, is a like the bundle. I bundle them for like one seventy nine. I need the bundle. All right, I need I three the, bundles. All right, I give you the what bundle. What they gotta do? Um, so shit, they just gotta make sure they like and subscribe uh, uh, my YouTube, your t- YouTube, and come on my page and like you know run the comments up. All right, bet. So look, like, like, and subscribe on on the YouTube. Yeah, both our YouTubes. Yeah. Comment under what? Let's say your first Work, workout landlord. Your my, first my Instagram. Yeah, your first pic. Your first picture. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, my first picture. First picture is be like, y'all like and subscribe to uh the the yeah. Hill interview type yeah, shit. For you sure. Get, we gonna get three people. We, man, we, no, we no, no, like no, no. We can do more than that. That's that's like, dude, that's dude the first twenty people. I like that. Yeah, that's the first twenty people. We ain't first gonna play twenty one. people. But listen, they gotta do something with the information. Nah, facts. They gotta do something with that. Yo, you um, you you getting into some? Cause this conversation is so cool. Cause yeah. like you coming into the new way of things. Yeah, 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 for sure. And I'm, I'm curious, like, are you doing some new type shit, like mentorship and shit? So yeah, so we we got the we got a, a five day challenge coming up uh, next. I think uh, next month or whatever. Um, it's gonna be lit. So I understand people need the information, but they they need everything. Like they need to know, you know. You know what to look for. You know, uh, in, in the next ninety days, they they gotta know that your flip might take you six months. So I really been through it. So that's what I want to teach them. And we got we got a lot of people that's gonna be on. I got my guy Andy. Uh, he's gonna be teaching about how to build houses from the ground up. We got Mogul. He's gonna be teaching about self um, facility storages. We gonna have a lot of important people that's gonna be on there. That's really in the game. That's doing it. What's the most important part to know though? Like where did we start? You see, I'm trying to get the game. I would say. I mean, listen, if the, nigga ain't. If, let's say right. Yeah. Where we at, Kyra? Man, we right. we still early. This yeah, light. Yeah, for sure. So let's say, yeah. If before they introduce to you, before they even get to the uh, the the the, the five day challenge, right? Yeah. I'm trying to have them lead an interview and like, oh, they don't need to give away some game. Like they don't need the five day challenge. I mean, I, I I would say I would say don't be selfish. Yeah, no, I ain't gonna be selfish. Look, I would say, look, this is what you this is what you need to do, right? You need to make sure you build your credit report out first. Okay. That's that's the first thing you need to you do. You do that too. Yeah, I do all that. See, I, yeah, I do all that. Yeah. So look, look, you're gonna build your credit report out, right? You're gonna make sure you have over eleven accounts on your credit report. You wanna make sure you start with if you own a property or if you rent a property, you wanna make sure you get this app called Rental Karma. Mm. They actually report your rent to your to your to your credit report, and then that boosts your credit score up 80 points, right? Mm. You wanna make sure you get self lender. You want to make sure you get um you want to make sure you get a bunch of credit builders to build your credit up and then you want to get an actual PNC or Discover line of credit on your credit report. Why PNC or Discover? Because they like those ones they they, they give you they give you over 2500. Mm. And then once you do that, you want to go for your business credit card, right? That first business credit card with Chase, you can get up to 50,000, but they have something called the 5 and 24 rule to where though you can't have over 5 credit cards under 24 months mm. so your first credit card you want to go with the chase credit card right business right so you want to open up your llc as well um when you're going for when you're going for llc's you want to make sure you go you go through the state to get your llc so it only costs like 100 bucks or something yeah, like that like 125 yeah like 125 yeah. or something like that so get your llc once you get your llc you want to get your operating agreement mm. um after you get your operating agreement now we want to build your you know we want to build your business credit up from there um, your personal, you want to be a PG. If y'all don't know what a PG is, personal it's guarantor. a personal guarantor. Yeah, yeah. So you're going to be a personal guarantor on your first, on your credit re, um, report, and then you're going to take that, and then you're going to apply for like like a hundred thousand in funding, and then that's going to be your way of getting into the ballgame. I ball feel game. like I have a lot, a lot of people on Instagram is bro, like you said, yeah. bro, with the real estate shit. I feel like the same way with the business shit. Yeah, man, you got to do to get the LLC. You're going to get two hundred thousand dollars funding. You're going to get two hundred thousand dollars funding. You're going to get a life insurance. No, it's not going to be two hundred. It's not going to be two hundred. Yeah. Like, no, what? that's what. No, that's what they saying. But so look. What they what they leaving out is it takes a little while to do it. It might take you like maybe nine months to be honest with you. It might take you nine months. That ain't to bad. Get, it might take you nine months to get you know eighty to one hundred thousand in funding. And do you have to like I'm hearing like with with business credit it don't 
reflect on your utilization so you could take more time to pay it back. Yeah, yeah. So that's so that's why our right, so the play that you want to do, like say if you get a Chase um credit card, right? Seventy thousand, you might get a uh, you know, uh, you know, a capital one credit card, you know, it might be thirty thousand or something like that, right? The the util the credit it don't report to your your personal credit report so you can max those credit cards out to actually buy a house even if you're a personal guarantor yeah even if you're a personal guarantor that's crazy even if you're a personal guarantor so you can max those cards out and then while you are fixing the property up as soon as you finish fixing it up you want to refinance pay all those credit cards off and then now you'll take whatever little money is left over to invest into another building so wait I can I can pay I can get a house with a credit card yeah yeah. Yeah, for sure. That's I mean, what you, all you gotta do is liquidate. You, so you liquidate the funds, but yeah, can li you liquidate all of it? Yeah. So you, yeah, you can liquidate. So basically, what you want to do is right. You want to make sure you have a business set up to where as though you can liquidate the business credit cards through your business. Um, LLC or no? No. So you want to make sure you have a. You know, you gonna have your LLC, right? So you might have a PayPal account. You might have a Stripe account. So your per so it might be if you got a business credit card, you can liquidate it through another business. Mm. And then once you take that take that money off the credit card, now you can actually have your down payment to actually put down. Say if you need twenty thousand to get a hundred thousand dollar house, and I can call you to get my credit right, right? Yeah, for sure. How, how long that's going to take? So it just all depends. If I it, pay you extra, how, how long is it going to uh, take? No, we, we, I'm gonna make sure. Uh, <laughs> we probably like ninety days, depending what's on there. Depending what's on there, like you can't late have, fees, all the bullshit. We I mean, make, you can have late fees. Niggas in the hood, yeah, you know yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you can have late fees and stuff like that, but you like you don't want to have a late fee in your credit report. Like mm. you don't. You can get it removed off. You can get it removed, but you don't want to have that on there because it just takes a little bit too long. Mm. You definitely don't want to have a capital one late fee. They're not taking it off. You got to just remove the whole account off your credit report. You can do that yourself, low key. Yeah, Somebody get yeah. In the game. Yeah, so you can. I mean, it's, all it is is sending letters out. So. Um, I got a lot of letters too. I don't know if I should give them that too. Man. Yeah, I gotta see, man. man. Come on, I got man. a bunch. I got a bunch of letters. What man. letters you got? So the letters that we go with, we go with the law. So everything is just you know factually um, disputed under the Grand Belly Leach Act. Mm. To where though um, they're going to remove it because they're not supposed to report none of that stuff on your credit report as as well. When you think this shit gonna get played out, I feel like credit like is niggas is getting on. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be honest. Like credit is is never it's not gonna be played not out. Not credit, but like the credit <laughs> building, the, like fixing credit. Because I feel like I mean, it's everybody, going, everybody not do that shit. I feel like yeah, like, I feel like the no, government gotta be on to us. No, now. I think I think they going. So right now, what they doing like uh, real important? Like they not letting felons get like like certain loans now. Mm. So you can't go to you can't some people can't get a hard money loan. Mm. So to get around being a hard money loan, say if you was in the streets, to get around to getting a hard money loan if you're a felon, you want to make sure you have somebody that don't have no felons. You want to get an LOC, start one with him, and I'm going to start one with you. I'm going to make sure that person doesn't have any felonies, and then the credit line will go in his name, and I'm still on to the business. What's a good price to pay him? He wants some, he wants some money. I mean, I give him five to 10000 I'll make him be a partner in my company. Mm, that's hard. You feel me? I had, you know, I have 90, he had 10, you know, and we rock out. You ain't doing nothing, but, you know, we just, you know, we that got we have a business together. So you going to follow each challenge? You going to do a mentorship? Uh, I think so. Yeah, we going to do a mentorship. How, I got how, to. Much, how much you would charge? I ain't I'm, gonna ask I'm, you to give I'm away. Charge, I ain't gonna ask you. I'm just curious. Uh, five hundred thousand. How do you? So how, nah. I'm about to say, I'm, <laughs> nah, bro, that's nah, not nah. far. I be you be surprised what I hear nowadays, bro. <laughs> Hold on. Now, do your thing. Take your time, babe. I'm on. I'm on a podcast. Seeing a little bit. All right. <laughs> Listen, listen, listen. Now, Look, come now on. This see, nigga, uh, I was, now this nigga, uh, now this nigga, yo, guy. I'm gonna see you a little bit, man. He probably texting like, yo, call me nah, real quick. Never. Oh, man. Oh, good. <laughs> All right, so, yeah. wait, wait, shit. Yeah, how much you would charge for I charge, um, I charge a dime, 10000 That's not bad. And yeah. it's like, why is you gonna go, you gonna talk to some people, nigga, like, raise it? Yeah, a lot of people say I should be at like 30000 how you? How do I you, mean, I don't be trying to get people. I don't know what it is. Like, I just be having that in me. Like, how you determine your price, though? I mean, I just think ten thousand for the average poverty stricken person. Ten thousand is a lot of money for that person. Facts. You know, so I be thinking like, if I'm at thirty thousand, I guess it just depends because really the government, like the colleges, they charge fifty to one hundred. So it's really like I gotta get out the bubble that I'm in because yeah. I'm teaching. I'm helping a well, lot. We of just people. starting, bro. Yeah, Maybe. we just starting. Man, I tell a nigga my party, nigga be like, "She, I'm," and I'm thinking like, "You tripping?" Yeah. <laughs> like you first when you first start making it like or yeah. getting it like different than yeah. what, what you used to, you thinking like, "Man, it's dying." I get ten people, it's cool. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's a hundred, but a hundred ain't shit. Yeah, but then niggas are like, "Man, you get thirty, and they yeah. still gonna pay the same." Yeah, they still gonna pay it. That's yeah. cr what come what, what come with the mentorship. So the mentorship it comes with. All right, so I got two mentorships. So the one mentorship is twenty five thousand. Whereas though I walk you through 
me getting you the credit cards, fixing your credit. You doing um, it with me? Yeah, I'm doing it with you. Like like me, like you me. fixing my credit. Yeah, too? we fixing your credit. We uh we making sure you get your credit cards. And, and I already got crazy receipts already. That I did any this guarantees? Like, I'm guaranteeing it. What 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 number you gonna guarantee the hundred thousand in credit? I mean, I guarantee like between seventy because you can't guarantee it because everybody credit profile is different. Yeah. So I can guarantee like between seventy to a hundred thousand. I mean, seventy not bad. Yeah, it's not. But you only need twenty thirty thousand down on a hundred thousand dollar house. So the extra money is like kind of bonus for you to not fuck it up because it's somebody else's money. So that's the under, that's the part that under, people don't understand about credit. They just think, all right, look, we get these credit cards now, we gonna fuck the money up. You gotta pay that money back. So you got to understand that, look, we just getting this money just to invest. After we invest the money, we giving y'all money back, and then we going to do what we need to do on our side. Yeah, you got you to gotta find out how to finesse this uh, finesse this motherfucking, this group investor shit again. No, no, no. I'm, I'm going to do it. Because it can work. No, it can work. It's working for a lot of, it's working. But I mean, I'm just not ready for it. Like, I don't, like, I don't, I'm just still getting my shit together as well. So I'm not going to be a person, I know I can go out there and just get money from people, but I'm not that type of guy. Mm. Like, I'm not going to get your money and then I'm waiting now. I mean, I'm, uh uh-uh. You won't uh-huh. fuck my name up, baby. <laughs> you won't. Nah, fuck it's me a up. lot of niggas names yeah. getting fucked up. Yeah, right they, them names is getting. Nah, uh, uh-uh. look, I don't want your money. No, that makes sense. Yeah, I don't Man. want your money. Nah, that's fire, bro. That's hard, bro. I yeah. appreciate you, dog. Yeah. I, another thing too, uh, they got this. They got this dollar house program too. And where, where you? I heard about where this. you from? I'm from Baltimore. Yeah, Baltimore, baby. Yeah, bro. So listen, look. So you can get houses for a dollar in Baltimore right now. You got to make sure uh, the houses goes up on foreclosure for under six months. Once they go on the market for six months and they don't sell, then you can basically get those houses for a dollar. But you got to fix the neighborhood up. Mm. So if you got a whole block in Baltimore that got 10 houses, but you got to be ready to fix them up. So you got to have a plan to fix them, rehab budgets and all that. So that's why I say- They don't do that in Philly? Yeah, they got that in Philly too. Yeah. You, don't, you, you doing it? Yeah, so yeah, so I'm, I'm, you got to have a non-profit as well too. Oh, okay. The, yeah. the 501 3C. Yeah, yeah. They not easy to get Yes, though. they are. For real? Yeah, yeah. It's just like opening up an LLC. Nah, I heard it, it was way harder no, than not, that, bro. It's just like I mean, you still got to do certain things, but you got to know people to do it. So I got I got somebody that you know that, that can do it. That come with a mentorship too? No, that don't come with the mentorship. How much would that be? Uh, I can't put a number on that. <laughs> <laughs> he trying to juice. Hey, how much is that? <laughs> Nigga, what are you talking he, about? No, but that's like for, for real. To be honest with you, that's where you want to be at. You want to get with the government shit, bro. Like no, profit is the way to go, and you get. So so much funding. Yeah, like that's that's where it's like if you look at the government contracts, you look at you know they giving away dollar houses. If you look at the Act One Thirty Five, whereas though if you own a house on a block right next to it, you can actually assume you know control of that house if, if it's an abandoned building. So you gotta understand like all these different things. You gonna in put order. this in a, in, a, in a mentorship, bro? Oh, God, that makes sense. I mean, it makes, now you about to raise your price. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It makes sense, but I'm gonna be honest. I will only be able to do six people a year. Why? Because like each ninety days, you know, I, like in those, I, I need time for me as well. Okay. So I can't. But I, I mean, can't. so you raise your price to fifty. Yeah. So you yeah. Can do six in a year. Yes, yeah, I'm saying. So I need to be able. It need, it need to make sense. And everybody can't get access to you as you well. You might as well raise your price. That dime go to fifty. Niggas gonna hate me. Niggas like man. You, you think? That, yeah. I mean, the ten thousand. That's where it's, it's at right now. It's worth it though. That's where it's at right now. Man, at fifty. Fifty. It's worth it. I be saying, yo, people that don't have no knowledge. That's why I feel like. The like it's a little boring, like the you know the real estate game and all that shit online because these motherfuckers don't be having no real estate. Yeah, but they can give you every play in the book. It's this, it's just, it's just the society we in, bro. YouTube, YouTube, some they shit. Get, they you get can every find play. out how to say it good. You say it in it. Nah, niggas is on bullshit. Nah, yeah. this is hard, bro. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. Shit, I'm I'm gonna fuck around, and go back and figure out how to do some of this shit. <laughs> Man, I got you. Crazy, I got bro. you, my boy. Uh, let niggas know how I follow you and everything, bro. Uh, you can follow me, uh, Workout Landlord. You know, on Instagram, YouTube, I got Workout Landlord too, as well. Uh, make sure y'all um tap in for that five day challenge. Uh, listen, man, I appreciate you, bro. Nah, my dog, appreciate bro. you, man. Yo, this was a fire interview. Yo, nah, bro. Uh, one more. Yeah, <laughs> they got the they got the bundle. How yeah. much the five day work uh challenge? The five day challenge is like two ninety seven. All right, bro. Give me like two. Uh, come on. This is end end of the interview. We like an hour. Oh, man, give this me two guy, of them, man. man. Listen, y'all gotta run it up for that. Hey, give me two of them. Nah, nah make them do something. Listen, look, man. Y'all gotta before that. Nah, make them do something. Y'all gotta, y'all gotta, y'all gotta share my page. Like y'all gotta comment at least ten to twenty times. Like, listen, you gotta yeah. do something. for No, nah, no, nah, we got, we got get something solid though. Yeah, we're we gonna get we, something give solid. Them, give them something that they gotta do. Let's let's make it up. Help us out. Yeah, what, what, what can y'all say? What they got to do? Some real something tangible. 
we coming up with this on the spot. So y'all know we ain't, we ain't, we ain't on the I would say uh, at least, all right, look, they got to buy the bundle. They got to buy the... They got to buy that. They got to buy, you know, they got to buy, buy the bundle. Buy the bundle, bundle share it on... Share it. But how much the bundle? The bundle is $37. Oh, yeah, I ain't mad at that. It's $37. Buy but the bundle, buy share it Buy the bundle, but I need, I need to know something that you learned out of there. It's not mm. just buying it and then okay, let me get in the challenge. Well, what they, what they, what like, how they gonna tell you? Um, just like the first steps of being a contractor, I got all the steps. You well, know, how can they tell you? Like, gonna share on Instagram? Yeah, they can share. They can tag. They can tag it under uh, under one of my photos, under my my uh, my first photo. Tag it under my first photo. Yeah. Say, tag him yeah. under my first photo. Yeah. And say the I read um how the first steps of be the being a contractor. Yeah, let's do that. Let's I do like that. that. How I many mean, people we gonna do? Uh, we said two. You see, you see, we could do two. I mean, we yeah, just two. two. We yeah, do we two. just do two for that. All right. Uh, two people. Let's do ten. Let's do ten. Come on, man. Let's do ten. You feel me? Let's do ten. Let's man. do ten. Ten, ten. First ten people. You gotta read it. You gotta yeah. comment under my first Instagram page. Tag, uh, workout landlord. Yeah. Tag him, and say what the steps are. Right. Yeah, just one step. Tell him one step that yeah. he wrote in his in his book, right? Yeah. Go to my first page, tag workout landlord, right? Yeah. Say one step of how to, how be, to be a, a how, contractor. How to be a contractor. The most important part of real estate. Yeah. So first thing you want to do is buy the bundle. The bundle was fucking thirty seven dollars. Yeah, thirty seven bucks. Thirty seven dollars. You buy the bundle, you read it, right? You go under my first page. The page is a picture of me like doing some fraternity scroll. You going to tag <laughs> workout. You going to say, yo, this is the first step to be a Contractor, yeah. and you won't get access to first ten people. You won't get access to his five day uh, challenge. That's worth two hundred and two ninety seven. Two ninety seven. Bunch of game. Come on, man. You just you just save what uh, like two thirty or something. I ain't about to do the math. I mean, you save some money, but it's more so about the knowledge that you get. Yeah, like man. and really using it. Like we gonna make you, we gonna make you stand on business. My dog, man. Work out. Yep. J Hill, Mr. J Hill podcast is wrap. We out.